Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy, and I'm here to read you another story. And I'm excited because we are reading our way to Valentine's Day. And I found another book that I think you're really going to like because it's about somebody who loves Valentine's Day. This book is called Love, Ruby Valentine. Love, Ruby Valentine. This is about a little girl named Ruby Valentine who loves Valentine's Day and does all kinds of stuff getting ready for it. Hmm. But something goes a little wrong, and now we have to find out, can she fix the problem? Well, the only way we're going to find that out is if we open this book and get inside and see what happens with Ruby Valentine. Are you ready to get inside this book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up, because here we go. Love, Ruby Valentine. Written by Lori Friedman. Illustrated by Lynn Avril Kravitz. Deep in the heart of Heartland, in a house of oak and pine, with her feathered friend named Lovebird, lived Ruby Valentine. Now Ruby had a favorite day and Valentine's was it. According to all who knew her, this day was a perfect fit. Ruby loved to say, I love you, and she loved to say, be mine, and she loved to sign her hearts and cards. Love. Ruby Valentine. That's Ruby, and Valentine's Day is her favorite day. Valentine's Day was Ruby's chance to do what she loved best. As the special day drew closer, Ruby would not stop to rest. With five days until Valentine's, Ruby started making cards. She and Lovebird sprinkled glitter. They curled ribbons by the yards. With four days and counting, Ruby and Lovebird began to bake. They cut out heart-shaped cookies. They iced a heart-shaped cake. They never left the kitchen with only three days more to go. Ruby and Lovebird filled up goodie bags and tied each with a bow. Wow, Ruby works really, really hard before Valentine's Day. With just two days remaining, they worked morning, noon, and night, signing cards and wrapping gifts until each package was just right. With Valentine's one day away, Ruby carefully checked her list. Then she loaded up her wagon. No one in Heartland would be missed. It's one day till Valentine's Day, and she's loading everything up in the wagon. She's going to make sure everybody gets something. The night before Valentine's Day, Ruby chose what she would wear. She tied on, tried on her purse and shoes. She washed and curled her hair. When everything was in order, Ruby made a special sign. It sat high atop her wagon and read, Love, Ruby, Valentine. Here it is, just about Valentine's Day. Oh, she looks so tired. Tired from all her hard work, Ruby lay down on her bed. She hadn't planned to stay long, just to picture the day ahead. But when she closed her eyes, Lovebird scarcely made a peep. She snuggled up next to Ruby, and they both fell fast asleep. Uh-oh. They slept right through the morning and into the afternoon. They slept right past the evening. They never saw the moon. They slept all through Valentine's Day. And when they finally awoke, Ruby saw with dread the date. That was when she realized she was very, very late. I can't believe I missed Valentine's. Now I'll have to wait a year to tell everyone I love them. Ruby wiped away a tear. She missed Valentine's Day. She slowly picked up cards and started putting gifts away. When in a squawky voice, Lovebird said, ah, Let's go today. Ruby looked at Lovebird. Folks won't like this one bit. It's the 15th, not the 14th. They're sure to pitch a fit. But Lovebird kept on squawking, so Ruby made a choice. All we can do is try it, she said in a tiny voice. So she straightened up her wagon and tried hard not to frown. With Lovebird on her shoulder, Ruby slowly walked through town. She delivered cards and candy. She passed cookies from a tray. She gave out gifts and goodie bags to all the townspeople that day. Then she summoned up her courage and did what had to be done. 
I know I'm so late, so, so late, she cried, but I'm so, so sorry, too. What happened the next surprised her? No one seemed to mind. They just thanked and hugged her for being sweet and kind. You've made today a celebration, so why would we protest? Hip hip hooray for Ruby! We think you are the best. The people are so happy to get cards the day after Valentine's Day. And that's when Ruby realized that saying, I love you, doesn't have to wait till Valentine's. Any day will do. So now she sends out cards all year that say, will you be mine? And she signs each and every one. Love, Ruby Valentine. Well, look at that, look at that. Ruby learned a big lesson. She loved Valentine's Day and she did so much. So many cards and cookies and things to pass out to people. But when she fell asleep and missed Valentine's Day, she thought she couldn't tell people that she loved them. Well, of course she can. She found out that people love to hear that every day. You don't have to wait for Valentine's Day to tell somebody you love them. And now Ruby goes everywhere telling everybody that she loves them, that she adores them, that they are hers and she is theirs and she signs everything. Love, Ruby Valentine. I liked this book. I liked Ruby. I liked how much she liked Valentine's Day. But what I really liked is that she learned a lesson that you don't have to wait for Valentine's Day to tell people that you love them. You can tell them that every day. Especially the most important people in our lives are mom and dad. You should tell mom and dad you love them every single day. That's a very important thing to do. And what I need you to do tonight, little Valentine of mine, is to get under those covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a good night's sleep, give mom and dad extra hugs and kisses today and on Valentine's Day. But remember, always tell mom and dad how much you love them and show them how much you love them. And how do you do that? Obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy because I'm going to be sitting right here ready to read a book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.